Yes, that is the scene I want, even if it says so extreme on it. Hello! Kitte with a three month resub says meow. Meow to you too. Um, okay. So, this is my resin table. Um, just absent mindedly peeling the resin out of the inside of this. Uh, rubber mixing cup that I use them that I use to mix them in. Um, so I've got a couple different things I'm working on here. Uh, and a couple different a couple different sets of charms that are in a couple different stages of production that we could continue on. Um, so these guys are theoretically done, but a couple of them are leaking. Um, so I need to wipe them down, figure out where the leaks are. It's it's probably around the um, most of them have. Uh, let's see, so this one, so you probably can't see it. Um, but most of these have like a little divot in them um, that's like built into the mold, and, and so it's got like a little divot in the top of the charm. And what that is is once I get once I get the stuff inside, and once I get the the film over the top, I seal the film on it. And then I've got my little bottle of mineral oil and I put the bottle into that divot and that's how I fill it up. Um, and I think most of them are leaking around that little divot. Um, Cause then I put another layer of resin over the top, but if there's any mineral oil that's leaking out, the resin will adhere. And so I'll have like a little gap. And I think that's what's happening there. Um, so I basically just need to wipe them down again, put a little dollop of the UV resin over where it's leaking and then we should be good and I can put the uh, put the keychains on them and they're good to go um, these guys over here are hey Randis fancy stream today with toxins I do actually have dice molds I've kind of toyed with the idea of making dice before. I have not actually made dice yet. But it is, it's theoretically a thing I could do, but the resin that I have right now is not designed for deep pours, um, which a deep pour is anything that's like into a mold. So like I have chess pieces, chess piece molds too, and I can't use this resin with that. Uh, and I think dice would be the same. This resin that I've got is made more for like flat pours which I didn't realize at the time I bought it, but it works okay for the shaker charms. So I'll probably just use up the bottles I've got making shaker charms, and then I'll purchase a different brand to do dice and uh, chess pieces, which I would like to do. Um, but yeah, so these are, yeah, these are shaker charms. I'm just absentmindedly peeling shit out of the inside of my mixing cups. Um, so the ones on this side are my desert bus charms and you can tell I've got the stuff in most of them but I don't have the like they're still open I don't have the films on top so I could do that these two the leafy on and glacy on I don't have the cards in the back yet so I could show you how I do that uh, we have options Mostly they've been sitting here for better part of a week and I need to be working on them. So I figured, what the hey, I will stream some resin work. I won't actually be like mixing resin to do a pour tonight. I'm just kind of doing the, the, uh, the afterwards stuff that makes the shaker charm shake. I could at some point do an actual mix and pour, I think. I would just have to uh, figure out how to get my camera a lot higher because as you can probably tell this is not a wide field of view at the moment. I've got like a whole nother mat that's this size laid out over there that I usually do my actual pouring on. a good wash too because even like peeling the bits of resin out of the inside there's still like bits of dye and glitter that's kind of stuck in there I could 
probably managed to turn them completely inside out. Let me give them a real good scrub. Yeah, there's a lot of dye stuck in the bottom of this one for some reason. I'll get at it with alcohol wipes later. All right. My, my dedicated trash bag here for all my toxic resin scraps that I don't want to go into the regular trash. Now I should actually, since I'm going to be working with resin, and my light for my UV resin is actually on the floor because I'm out of table space. Uh, I'm just going to get up real quick and actually close the door because I can't have Sasha coming in while I'm working with this stuff. Oh, Kitte, that's me. This is, in fact, a uh, Desert Bus 2022 prize preview stream, because uh, this whole section over here is going to be, that's, so this is all the charms for my prize set. Um, but yeah, I think I'll handle these guys first, because that shouldn't take very long. I want to get those resealed. Alright, paper towel. Alcohol wipe. Alright. Let's see. I noticed the barred one is looking pretty bad. Just giving it a wipe down with the alcohol wipe. Oh yeah, it's leaking right there, I can tell. Okay, so that's at least an easy fix. Plug in my UV light here. I just have, so there's two types of resin. So there's two part resin where you mix the resin and you mix the hardener in whatever ratio the company tells you to. And then you pour it into whatever and over time it hardens. That's what these that's what these are. So when I actually do a pour, I'm using the two-part resin. There's also this, which is UV resin. And what this is, is it's it's a single part of resin and it uh, hardens when it's exposed to UV light. So it can theoretically harden in sunlight, but it'll take a few days. Uh, whereas if I use this, which is just like a $20 UV uh, nail lamp, it will harden in about five minutes. So let me just plug in my nail lamp here. Also, I apologize if I seem slightly less responsive. I've got my uh, computer off to the side, so I'm only glance at the chat every couple minutes. All right, so with this stuff, all I gotta do is put a dollop on. The trick is getting it to look smooth. Because um, I put a, a layer of resin over top of the entire thing. And now I'm going to be putting another layer over just part of it. Um, oh, yeah, I probably shouldn't blow into the microphone, eh? Okay, so the trick is getting it to look smooth, but... So I just put a dollop on over where it's leaking. Just kind of. Is it leaking on that side too? Oh, it can't hurt. Yeah. It's not bubbling. Definitely not ideal. I'm just kind of 
grab the edges, the little blend what I've already got on there. It'll still be a little bit noticeable, but I mean, there's only so much you can do. Okay, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna stick it under my UV light. And that should stop the leaks. Theoretically. Alright, uh, the dancer was leaking too. Yep, and I can tell it's the same place. Uh, Sasha Fur. Um, and I'm just using mineral oil to fill these. That's what's inside. This one's leaking on this side. And I don't have to worry about scratching the paint because the paint is under the layer of poured resin, so that's all protected. There's no worries that. Like I said, technically these are done if they weren't leaking. minutes. Uh, let's see. Because like I said, if any of them are leaking, it's probably going to be right around the divots here. Yeah, I think this one is too. Or at least I don't think it's fully sealed. This first batch might end up being a little lumpy, but that's okay. That's, uh, that's why there are handcrafted items being sold on Etsy and not professional grape charms. trying to yeah I was trying to position my camera so that it would be there we go that's probably better uh yeah more Sasha hair oh hey Merlin with a three month resub resin 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 yeah yeah they've been sitting here needing to have stuff done with them all week and I just keep not getting around to doing stuff with them so I'm gonna do what I usually do and stream to force myself to work on them well, not even forced, just to carve out the time to work with them. Okay. So give those a second to harden. Um, okay. So Glaciana will be going in the star. Just finished dinner. Ooh. What was for dinner? All right. So the trick with these is I have, you probably can't see them because they're clear plastic, but I have plastic templates that I've cut out in the shape of the inside of the shaker charms. So I'm going to lay that down on top of the card and figure out how I want it situated. Oh, that actually gets Glaceon's whole body in there. Okay. And then I could use like a pen or a marker to mark around it, um, but I've actually found that it's really effective to take a big old blunt cross stitch needle 
and just kind of drag that around the edge because it marks in the card where my cut line is. But then when I'm actually cutting, I don't need to worry about whether or not there's like a black line that'll show up in the charm because it's just kind of a scratch. Ooh! Tacos! Ooh, tacos are good. Uh, so Kara has just redeemed the ability to pick what my next craft stream will be. And by that I mean my next Tuesday stream, because uh, Sunday is always patchwork. Uh, so it looks like Kara has decreed that next Tuesday I'll be doing cross stitch. So look forward to that. I'll work on my uh, I'll work on my multicolor piece again. It's been a while since I pulled that out. is not at all the uh, uh, advice method, I guess, uh, but it works for me. All right. So that's ready to be cut. I probably could if I got like an exacto blade, just cut it out that way, um, but that's fine. All right, pull these out from under the light. Push it off the part now. All right, there we go. So hopefully no more leaks. Just gotta let that UV resin settle a bit. That should hopefully be sealed now. Okay. Any of the rest of these leaking? Oh yeah, this one was. Why I should have given them a I should have given them like a really really good wipe down. And I did not. I don't think this one is actively leaking, it's just not as sealed as I would want it to be. Oh, will it be me cross stitching or will it be Kara cross stitching? Good question. We will have to negotiate that over the course of the week. Also, hey, Amari. Yep. Yeah, so the job icon ones will be for sale, uh, and the proceeds from them will go to Chris's uh, health surgery fund. the uh, The Pokemon ones are my Desert Bus slot for this year, so you're you're getting a little bit of a price preview. Oh, that's a piece of glitter. I don't want that in there. No. Oh, is that in the resin underneath? Okay, that's fine. This is fine. Um, so yeah, my uh, my prize lot for Desert Bus this year is uh, a set of EV Lucian Shaker charms. Do I have a sage one? Not yet. Uh, so I had uh, seven of them that I had set up and ready to go. So I went with, I think Dobby was the one that requested tanks. Oh, this one's really leaking. Uh, so I went with tanks and then I had three left after that. And so very, very selfishly, I went with range DPS. Where is that leaking? Is it just popped along? Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus, yeah, it's leaking right there. Ah, oh, fun. Yep, okay, yeah, I see exactly where that's leaking. The edge of the, um, whatchamacallum, the film has come up. That is not what we want. This one's going to be a bit of a messy fix, but it is what it is. Be sure that's where it's leaking anyway.
So yes, at the moment I have tanks and I have ranged feet, yes. Uh, the next set that I do, I have another three over there that need to have the back domed on them. Uh, so actually, so this is the second set that I did. And the only difference is I put two drops of blue into those and there's one drop of blue in these. So I can't decide, the pink is exactly the same. The pink is one drop for each. Um, but I can't decide whether I like the darker blue or the lighter blue. And I guess having it on a gray background like this is not ideal. Um, so I've got the darker blue dye and the lighter blue dye. And I can't decide which one I like better. Oh, thank you! The darker blue? Yeah, I think so too. I'll probably go with the darker blue going forward. Thank you, Amari. I quite like them too. Um, I want to get this one added too. I want to put the Dancer Clamshell and then probably Scholar on it as well. Because at the time I got it, I was a White Mage main. And I do not play White Mage anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I really like the high qual one. It's uh, it's quite good. I'm I'm considering. I really want to get the um, like the Archon Mark. I don't know where, um, but I'll probably end up getting the Archon Mark at some point. Oh, feeding tacos to the baby. Excellent. Mm -hmm. That after eight creamer is real good. Okay. Uh, fix the bard, fix the dancer. Let me guess, this one's also, yep, this one's also leaking. It looks like the sides are popping up on them. Which is annoying. Soak up the oil first. Is that where, where it's leaking or is that just... Oh yep, yeah, that's totally leaking. Yeah, more Sasha hairs. Okay, it's all right down there. Yep. Sasha, please. Just put more resin. Yeah, I'm just, uh, so this is UV resin, um, which cures under the UV light I've got on the floor beside me. Um, and yeah, I'm basically just putting another thin layer of resin over the area where I suspect that it is leaking and then trying to smooth out the edges as best I can. It's gonna look a bit janky no matter what, but that's okay. Did I already reseal this one once? That's fun. I think Gunbreaker might have actually sealed all the way. Yeah, I think Gunbreaker's actually sealed. Hooray! One out of seven. Okay, Machinist. I think Machinist I already fixed. That was the first one I did. Yeah, that was the one I resealed the other day. So that one is resealed as well. That was the first one I noticed leaking. Okay, cool. Put the lid back on. 
that. I've positioned my camera very deliberately so you can't see the absolute mess that is my table just off camera. Alright. I should be dry as well. Give them a few seconds to settle. Hopefully that's all the leaks fixed. I'm gonna put on my light. Because it it's a $20 nail lamp, so it gets uh rather overheated if I leave it plugged in too long. I have well, we could send you a box, Merlin. I'm sure Kara could scavenge one from work. We could just send you an empty box and then you could send us back stuff in it. Alright, so let those settle for a second. Uh, there's my scissors. Alright, this is gonna be a little bit off camera, sorry about that, but... I don't really have much control over how to cut things. There will be little gaps around the edges once I drop this into the bottom of the charm. Um, but then, like everything else will sort of distract you from the gaps. So I'm not super concerned about it. So yeah, hopefully these do well at DB, because I'm, I'm already thinking like, if I get a chance to do more next year, I'll do like a different set every year. I started with Evolutions, so like I'm thinking next year I'll do like Kanto Kanto All Stars or something, where it's the Kanto starters and some of the legendaries and some of the notable Pokemon like um, like say the Alpha Dratini or whatever, and do still a set of like six or eight of them, but have it themed. And then each year I can do a different theme. Because I feel like these will do pretty well. I hope these will do really well. Shaker charms are fun and I really, really like the... I love how these are turning out. Like, they're, they're turning out gorgeous. Alright, in you go. Alright, where did I not trim properly? Along there. That was probably a little bit too much. I said my uh, my little template is not perfect. Just do a little trimmy trim. There. But it's easier to cut it too big and trim it down a little bit than it is to cut it way too big. So what I'll do is I'll put a layer of this UV resin over top of this just so that it seals it in and protects the card so that when I add the mineral oil, the mineral oil isn't actually soaking into the card at all. And it also adheres it to the bottom. There's some glare on that, isn't there? Alright, and then Lupion. Square template. Work. Right about there.
least the square ones are easy to cut out. I even scored that one straight, but such is life. Ship a box full of box, but Merlin only needs one box. And that way we would be shipping two boxes. Alright, put my little uni light back in. Try not to leave it going for too long, because like I said, it overheats like a mofo. Pour my little can of UV resin. Basically coating the entire card in it because like I said I want it to adhere to the bottom and also be protected so once I add the mineral oil none of it's gonna actually get to the card Two. Right, let's get them so they're at the very edge and they won't be noticed. I mean, Randus has a point. He will probably be shipping us things in the future, inevitably. But then again, we've also got stuff to ship you at some point, once I actually finish it. the UV resin won't dry out in the air. It only dries under light, but better safe than sorry and better to get into the habit of putting the lid back on things. Yeah. 
big bubble. Look, that bubble. Out. You leave it out long enough. I don't know that it's that it dries in the air or that it dries because it's in sunlight. Like it will eventually dry under sunlight and under even like room light because it, it dries via UV. But say you left it out covered by a box, I don't think it would ever dry because it dries specifically um, with UV light. Hardening occurs under sunlight. Please work indoors. Hardening occurs when exposed to ultraviolet light for a long time. UV lamp, 6 watts, 4 to 5 minutes. Sunlight, sunny day, 5 to 10 minutes. Sunlight, cloudy day, 20 to 40 minutes. Curable resin solution, but I don't know that it would ever harden just in air. Alright. So, theoretically, these guys are all sealed now. I sure hope these guys are all sealed now. Dark Knight seems to be. Oh. Have a tiny secondary leak up here. Yeah, I think I have a secondary leak up there. Because that's where the, uh, yep, yep, it's got a little crack in it. I mean, by crack, I mean the, uh, edge of the, um, Cellophane acetate is popped up. Stop bubbling on me. There we go. What have you used UV resin for, Merlin? I didn't know you had used it. Only one way to find out. It's not even evil grin, that's just a science experiment. Okay, yeah, we had determined that this one's sealed already. All on its own. Something, something. Oh, this one's still sticky. Let me stick that back into the light. under the lights long enough. But I think we've sealed all the leaks. Sasha, I swear to God. Yeah, we've sealed all the leaks. I just need to uh stick them all back under the light for a minute or two. Or just let them sit out because as stated they will eventually cure under just room lighting as well oh neat fun times i have not yet actually tried making jewelry with resin well okay now 
back months ago when I first started doing resin, I had done a little bit of jewelry. Um, I have not since then started to make jewelry again, but I would like to. It is on my to-do list. Next, also got these guys. And all of these are ready to put the uh, blankets on the back. Still sticky. Just a few minutes. To redo it, you want the necklace for yourself? That's fair. All right, so I've got a little jewelry findings here. Let's see, Jigglypuff, I'm thinking silver. This one, probably gold. Got the little golden beads in there. Uh, machinist. Let's go with silver. Warrior. I've got this cool bronze color. Uh, Gunbreaker. This will also go with silver. Good evening, Dobby, and hello, Panda. Oh yeah, I'm I'm putting the uh, I'm gonna put the uh, the backing on your Jigglypuff charm. Uh, Is Warrior also still tacky? Uh, a tiny bit. I mean, the only way you're doing it wrong is if it's not curing properly. Um, but God knows, most of what I'm doing is sort of by the seat of my pants. Or figuring out what works for me. Uh, let's go with gold for Paladin. Bronze for Dark Knight. Silver for Bard. And silver for Dancer. Sasha ate the charm. I would have concerns. Sasha, please no. Okay, so the way that I do my findings, rather than trying to do the UV resin, uh, I just use Gorilla Glue. It's, it's fine. It's probably not the recommended thing, but it's fine. Impressed and concerned if Sasha could swallow one of these? Yeah, pretty much. Ugh, come on. Cap 
There we go. air bubbles get out. Okay, it's not actually sealed, it's just kind of gummy. This is fine. Uh, ooh, they're actually coming out pretty even. For once. Yay, okay. Don't need too much. Come on, hardener. Is not wanting to cooperate tonight. Come on. Up here. Stick my little cap back on. Yeah, I don't have a fan over mine either because I'm not set up to do that. That's not doing it wrong, that's just doing it less than ideally. Like, if you can, then yes, absolutely, a ventilation, a ventipulum is better. But if you don't have one, it doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. Alright. Mix, mix, mix the Gorilla Glue. Oh, I think there's a Sasha hair in there. Wonderful. So yes, these are in fact silicone cupcake liners. It works. So essentially I mix it till it goes clear, just like the resin itself. Hardener and all of the resin, or all of the hardener and all of the glue to touch each other. Actually, probably easier if I do this with a popsicle stick as opposed to a uh, toothpick. down on the silicone mat and then just 
set the charm on top of it. Because the weight will have help adhere it or, or help keep them together while they uh, set up. the top of that one. And I still, yeah, yeah, I can move that one up there. Okay. Cool. Marilyn, prep some art. You wanted to stream tonight. I almost typed in prep. Sorry, Kate, you don't have admin privileges. There we go. I have the counter set so that only uh, mods will actually increase the counter. Everyone else just procs hope bot. But thank you. not straight but it's fine it's a trans pride flag it's not supposed to be straight it's my story and I'm sticking to it Kara to take a walk with me after uh, stream so we might not be immediately in your stream Merlin if you're starting right after I finish but let's put some of these down because that's what I'll be working on next okay. uh, let's see which way is up I mean, I really painted this one off center, so it doesn't really matter which way is up, but we'll say this way is up. Yeah, the glue's going tacky. That is the nice thing slash the downside of Gorilla Glue is it, it tacks up fast. Should have maybe done this in two batches, but it's fine. This is probably out of camera frame, but I'm just setting the binding down and setting the charm on top of it. Slide these guys down. Give myself some more room. Everything's fine. Tacky. I've got a couple more to do. Come on, glue. Stick with me. OK. 
go. Two more. Yeah, we're getting to the consistency of honey now. Which is not really what you want in your glue. I mean, it's better than hard, but not, not ideal. Okay, one more. Ooh, yep, that's super jelly. This is fine. set this aside. Once it fully, fully hardens, I can just pop the silicone inside out and peel the glue, the dried glue off, which is really nice. Okay. So these guys have all been filled with the stuff in them. Look, Merlin, I did find little bows for Sylveon. Uh, but Leafeon and Glaceon, considering we have just put the tarts in them, do not have stuff in them yet. Alright, so let me go grab my ugh, my things of stuff. or the laptop. Ah. Do not trip over my own headphone cord. Okay. Um, mirror gems? Probably not. So the way I've been doing it, you probably can't tell just from looking, but like the, the tiers are sort of themed. So like Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Flareon sort of have things in common. Umbreon and Espeon sort of have things in common. Um, and maybe I'll do some of these... These pearlescent things are cool. Maybe I'll do some of them for... Glaceon and Leafeon. I don't think I want to put more of the flowers and snowflakes inside the Shaker Charm because they're already in the resin. somewhere. Oh, yep, right there. No, that's over. There we go. Okay. Maybe one more even of the small ones. 
I'm still learning roughly like how oh there's little tiny ones I'm still learning like how much stuff I can put in these and have them look decent once it's like turned up and it all sinks to the bottom right because you don't want to put so much in that it's overwhelming but you don't want to put so little in that it's boring either flip over there we go yeah i like that that'll do um got these little sort of gem ones i've got these that are silver backed actually those will look, probably look pretty cool when they start floating around in there some of those There's a green one. There's another green one. Oh, let's come back here. Ooh, and they're kind of iridescent too. Neat. Uh, that's a blue one. Also a blue one. Oh! Top goes for baby. Hey, Alk. Uh, that's another green one. I think. Flip over. There we go. Blue. Oh, that one's blue. Can I catch it? There we go. So we have a third, there's a blue one. Catch me with the bag like two inches from my nose. There we go. Have slightly larger ones too. Baby's getting all the tacos tonight. Ah. Are a little bit less iridescent and more single color, which I think I like. Blue. Blue. And there's light green and there's dark green in here, I think. I think I want the dark green ones. I can fish them out. There's not dark green ones. It's okay. Oh, there are dark green ones. Come here. Ass. Maybe that's too dark though? I mean, they're going to be floating around at the bottom, but hmm. yeah, I think those might be too dark. There are, however, turquoise and light green ones, so let's try those. Again, if I can fish them out. What's that? Oh, that's orange. It's not what I want. It's also orange. It might in fact be the same orange. Nope. That is a light blue. Yeah, that's better. That's more ice like. Oh, and there's a light green. Yeah, much better. Nope. Well, 
over. There we go. Yeah, there's one. Come here, you. Container that's basically confetti. But I don't think any of it suits Glaceon and Lufion. Um, and then I've got my other container here. That's all of my clay slabs, my, uh, my polymer clay pieces, and also some beads and things. Um, like I said, I don't really want to reuse the same snowflakes and flowers that are in the resin. Uh, do I want to use some of the sprinkles? No, I think I want to keep the inside sparklier. So none of those. However, I do have... Ah, I forgot to grab a couple of my containers. containers. This might all be the wrong shade for the Piombo. So I definitely like the lighter green that's there rather than like the turquoise. But a couple of these. Yeah, just have several shades of green sequins or um rhinestones in there. Yeah, that's nice. Just all the green. I also have blue. Don't think these are too big for me to get away with. Yeah, they're too big. They'll stick up above the edge of the uh, charm. Um, these, though. These are flatter. Yep, that'll work. I don't have a green version, though. But that's okay. Because I put the extra rhinestones in there. Yeah, that'll work. Also have so I have these. They're gold and silver glass confetti, and then little tiny beads, which I've used both. So I've got the little beads in with uh, Flareon and Sylveon, and I've got some of the confetti in with Jolteon. more like confetti, eh? A couple silver confetti for Glaceon, like the ice crystals. I, I was wondering, Yalk, you kept posting pictures of like bikini tops and I was gonna like, 
be like, oh, but how's your blanket coming, Yalk? But I didn't, like, it's so late. I was like, oh, well, maybe Yalk decided he couldn't do it and, like, you know, threw in the towel. Uh, but props to you, man. You're gonna be doing a lot of crochet really fast. Have you, uh, have you redone the calculations on how many squares you're gonna have to do per day now? Yeah, I like that. Just a little bit of extra confetti. I think that'll work out really nice. Okay. So those, I think, are ready to seal now. All right, and sealing them's the annoying part. Only 20? Okay, yeah, that's 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 not bad. That's it's fine. Are you also factoring in the time that it's going to take to stitch them all together at the end? Cuz that always takes me way longer than I expect it to. Okay, so the fun part about the film that goes on the top of these, got a little bit of it left here, is uh, this is acetate cake collar, which means it is curved as hell. Uh, so I have to like flatten it or attempt to flatten it. Each square is all, okay, five, yeah, five rows of eight, that's not actually too bad. So I've got these uh, photo markers that I use. So I line up, line up two of the edges there, since this is conveniently a square. Use my alcohol wipe to get rid of the pen marks. Sharpie also works, but I don't actually have any fine point Sharpies at the moment. I only have the big fat Sharpies. Should pick up some fine tip Sharpies. But for now, this works. thick markers. Uh, well, okay, no, they're not even, they're not like the giant thick markers, um, but the only, the only Sharpies I have at the moment are these, just like the regular boring Sharpies, but they're still, you know, too thick of a point to effectively outline a, uh, charm. Okay, now the annoying bit with the squares. So remember earlier how I was saying and I was showing you that like most of these have a notch in them so that you can put the bottle in and fill them with oil after you put the uh, put the top on them. So there's a sticky bit here somewhere. Um, so the square um, mold that I have is from a different supplier and it doesn't have a notch in it. So I've got a couple options. I can either go ahead and seal it all the way around all four edges and then afterwards poke a hole in the top and fill it that way and then just seal the hole. That seems to work the best, um, but it does leave a little bit of a visible hole. Um, I think that's what I did with the warrior one. And you can kind of see when I put 
when you put the bubble against the hole, you can kind of see where the hole was, even though it's sealed underneath resin, um, because the, the film is punched down a little bit. So it does create a little bit of a visible defect. The other option is also annoying, but I could try to put the oil in first, fill it all the way up as, as much as I can, and then and then seal seal the or you know put the UV resin along the edges and sort of drop the film on top and immediately like try to seal it with the oil already in which again can work that's what I did with this one in testing um, but it does create it's probably going to have a larger bubble in it because it's more surface area that I'm, I'm trying to drop the thing on top of right so that's kind of our trade-off and I haven't decided because I've got three of the squares I've got Leafeon I've got Eevee and I've got Jolteon and I haven't decided which method I want to do yet um, I think what I'm gonna do is is do the hole punch method and I'll just put the hole in the bottom corners because then it won't be as noticeable because you're very you're very rarely going to turn the charm completely upside down and have the bubble go to the bottom right and that's really the only time you would notice it oh Yauk has redeemed a hydrate i have coffee which is a liquid everyone else should also hydrate and as Yauk says wash your beds down with some water so yeah take meds if you need them even if you don't take meds drink some something Oh man, Kara and I were out in the woods this weekend. I think we drank like four Gatorades a piece. Five. Oh, four. I drank four. I think Kara might have drank five. Alright, let me turn my UV lamp back on again. Let's seal this baby. that I seal these is I just put UV resin along the edges. Oh, that's a bubble. This is the UV resin. It'll dry when I stick it under the light. Not a second before. So I've got my film here. Make sure it's free of lint and Sasha. get another one of the squares out of it. Excellent. And I'll have to flatten some more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Kara was definitely, if not full out dehydrated, she had a bit of a heat exhaustion. Uh, so, yeah, I, I definitely kept shoving Gatorades at her. Luckily, it wasn't actually too, too hot out there. It was like 26 or 27. It was actually quite lovely. All right, those are too small to do anything.
Yeah, it was the fair that did you in. It was quite warm. The snow cones were good, though. I was happy I finally got a good snow cone. Well, a decent snow cone. It was no snow shack by any means. It does put the Gatorade in the mouth hole. And then more Gatorade, and then more Gatorade. And I got to tend to a fire for several hours on end, which was nice. I, uh, I'm one of those people I definitely like watching fire and like putting wood in fire and watching fire consume wood. So getting to sit and watch a camp stove for, or like a, it was like an iron uh, enclosed campfire stove thing. Getting to sit and just watch it and feed it scraps of wood for four hours was quite relaxing. Make of that what you, what you will. We'll get to go back up there my birthday weekend, which is in September. Oh yeah, by the way, Randus, happy birthday! Gosh, it's your birthday and you're spending it here? of a pyro. I'm not, I'm definitely not one of those people that I'm just gonna set everything on fire, but I love being able to sit and watch, yeah, as Dobby says, a controlled fire. A campfire. Or a fireplace. Okay. Stick that one. Ooh, gosh. Yeah, Yalk, that would be, uh, that would be rough. I am not a fan of Pokari Sweat, so, yeah, that would be rough. I would probably be sucking down those giant, like, gallon bottles of the, uh, well, I don't know if you can get them in Korea, but when I was in Japan, I was sucking down those giant gallon bottles of the, um, um, the fucking buckwheat tea. Oh, it's so good. Oh yeah, the, the magic fires are fantastic. We did that in uh, my high school chemistry class. The teacher just turned on a Bunsen burner and then was sticking stuff in it to change the colors. It was fantastic. Uh, okay, so those two are curing. This is my cake collar that I need to flatten. Scissors. Okay, so trying to flatten this is a pain in the butt. Roasted corn tea? Oh, that sounds delicious. I don't think, I'm trying to remember. It wasn't buckwheat tea. What was it though? Was it? Kocha. I'm trying to remember exactly what it was, but yeah, it was a grain tea and I loved it. Maybe it was buckwheat? 
barley. That's what it was. It was barley tea. I'm like, I know it, buckwheat doesn't sound right, but I couldn't think of another grain. Yeah, it was barley tea. Thank you. But yeah, corn tea sounds delicious. But then again, I'm from Ohio. So I am biased to like corn tea. Uh, I am currently just kind of trying to work this thing backwards to get it to flatten. I may just have to iron it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to iron it. Hang on. And yes, I mean literally iron it. I have a towel here. And I put it between the layers of the towel. And then heat it up with my iron just enough to start to melt the plastic and break down the chemical bonds so that it will reform into a flat sheet instead of a swirly sheet. Curved sheet, that's what I meant. Curved sheet. Plug in the iron. Wait for iron to heat up. And if I miscalculate the heat and melt the plastic to the towel, oh well, I deliberately grabbed a really old hand towel. This is fine. It's not any hotter than the hairdryer I used the first time. down and solidify. Hopefully that was enough heat. Aww. Yeah, that sucks, Randus. Well, we're happy to have you here and happy birth. Hopefully your cake is lovely. It looked lovely. Is that like a lemon bun cake? Nope, still curvy. More heat. More melt. Oh, lemon cream cake sounds so good. I love anything that's lemon. Dinner steak for Randus and Carby. Excellent. Thank you. Nope. Still freaking curly. It's not delaminating the way that it did with the hairdryer either. Which is strange. It's in Pretty sure. But this is a fair bit hotter than what the hairdryer got to. Then press a heavy weight onto it. Come on. 
delaminate and straighten. I can deal with it if it's still curvy. It's just a pain in the butt. Aha, there we go. Okay, that's better. Do this end. I just really need to apply the heat. And I think, actually, I can't heat it up enough to melt it. Like, fully melt it, which is nice. Heavy book on top. Uh, in other news... Oh no! Oh no, Rue! I mean... Okay, here's my thing with the bridal shower. Aha! I did it! I melted it. And by melted, I mean it's now flatter. Sort of. Here's the thing with the bridal shower. I love Rue dearly, but... Rue and Miranda and Jade and Morgan would literally be the only people we would know there. And like, I would almost rather be playing D&D than going to a bridal shower with a bunch of strangers. Although knowing Rue, A, they're all going to be good people. But also knowing Rue, it's probably just going to be like the five of us anyhow. Or maybe not. I don't know. Rue's a social butterfly. I'm sure she's got tons of friends that we don't know about. But also, oh no, I really hope the COVID isn't bad for her. But then again, she's a funeral director. Uh, okay, so it's, it's curvy in a much different way. don't know why. Quick, somebody who knows about chemical bonds. Why did it go from horizontally curly to vertically curly when I heated it up? Why can't I get it to just flatten out? There's like 14 confirmed guests. Okay, that's not actually terrible. That's fine. I was just picturing like a you know, a dance hall with like 35 people in it. Which would suck for my introverted ass. Because the universe hates crafters. That seems very plausible. Oh, I should pull these out. That, that seems, yeah, that seems plausible now. Okay. Now, did these seal all the way around? Or do I need to add another layer to them? Nope, I'm going to need to add another layer. Yeah, because they're bubbling up a bit. But that's okay. It'll all get evened out when I put the uh, the top layer of resin on it. I just need to make sure that they're sealed for when I actually add the uh, oil. Yeah, no, that's fair. I do not want to risk Jade's lungs anywhere near Corona if we can absolutely help it. Oh, yeah, probably, Randis. And the thing is, Rue's a dear friend, so she would probably cackle at them. She's that kind of person. All right, that's kind of flat. Uh, okay, so this bit bubbled up, so I need to add more. Kara, do I want to know what the cat is doing? I just hear like baby talk from downstairs for no good reason. Or I shouldn't say that. I'm sure there's a very good reason and it's probably a reason that Sasha is a dumbass.
I mean, at least Rue's actual wedding isn't until, what, Oct October? Like, at least she's not catching Corona right before her wedding. That would suck even more. Okay. Let's put that back under the light. Oh, you said uh, you said Jade told you on your way on her way out the door, so I assumed she was already gone. Here. So the thing is, even if it's technically sealed, when I start putting the oil in, it's liable to pop one of these up. If it's not like very well sealed. more along there too. So I'm in the habit now of just kind of flooding the edges with UV resin and it works so. Yeah, she is not allowed in here while I am working with toxic substances. Especially considering my UV light is on the floor. In easy cat reach. Come on, you stupid acetate. Teach yourself quilting? That's what I did. Literally, I taught myself to quilt on YouTube videos and online tutorials and books I got out of the library um, because my great-grandmothers both quilted. Um, unfortunately, they were both passed away by the time I got old enough to want to learn, but we had the quilts that they had made in the house and I always thought that they were wonderful. And I had always kind of wanted to learn how to quilt and the summer after I graduated university while I was waiting to move up here to uh, to Canada I couldn't get a job because I was waiting on my visa to be approved and literally as soon as my visa got approved I was all packed and was ready to move so I had like three weeks where I had literally nothing to do and I finally decided you know what fuck it I'm gonna teach myself how to quilt uh, and I did um, so yeah, it's totally doable. Don't let anyone tell you that it has to be taught or whatever. You could definitely teach yourself. Um, and if you want any like tips or tricks or resources, give me a shout. I'm not an expert by any means, but I am an expert in having taught myself. So I've got a lot of stuff where it's like, okay, this isn't the way that you're supposed to do it. This isn't the way that the traditional quiltists will tell you to do it, but this is how I figured out how to do it, and it works. Okay, I think that's as flat as it's gonna get. Um, you know what, while we're doing squares, let's do the last UV. This is probably going to bubble so bad when I go to seal it, but c'est la vie. If you 
does and crafts you know you taught yourself. Yeah. And it's a totally valid way to learn. It's a little bit of a shame. Like, I really wish that I had been able to learn from my great-grandmothers, but I never had the opportunity. So, here we are. Oh, that edge is not squared. Let's go from this end. I mean, this edge is probably not squared. And closer. Quilting I taught myself, uh, spinning and dyeing I taught myself Crochet, I sort of taught myself. So when I learned to crochet, my best friend's grandmother taught me and her in grade five. Um, and she taught us the basic, like, chain stitch, single crochet, double crochet. Okay, now you can make a scarf. And then from there, everything else that I've learned, I've taught myself. Like all the other stitches and patterns and things, I've just kind of taught myself. I would love to own a spinning wheel. That's kind of my someday um, want, is to get a spinning wheel, like a real spinning wheel. Currently I spin using a hand spindle, which is fine. It does the job, but it doesn't let you get anywhere near the volume that I want. And also it's a little bit hard on my back um, because you have to like constantly have your arms up and be controlling the spindle. Which, I mean, a spinning wheel you would be too, but not as much. Um, so yeah, I would love to get a good spinning wheel someday, but they're like hundreds of dollars that I can't afford. Even the cheapest ones are like three, four hundred dollars. But someday. It's a fun craft. Like, it's very, very satisfying to have yarn come out the other end. It's just annoying when it's a hand spindle. Okay, here's the uh, trick of the day with doing resin work. Why is my hand sticky? It's okay, that's what alcohol wipes are for. Bubbles just show it was handmade. I appreciate that, Yalk. <laughs> These are not going to be perfect by any means, and sometimes I get really self-conscious about that. But like, like I said, that's why I'm selling them on Etsy, not as part of a professional anything, because they are handmade and completely unique. Alright, there's those two. Let us put the top on Evie. Let us take the cap off the UV resin. Probably gonna need to get another bottle of this pretty soon. The problem is the bottle itself is thick enough plastic that it's probably gonna be a thing where it's like, doesn't feel like it's empty. And then all of a sudden, I realize it's empty. So I should note to self, order a new bottle next paycheck just so that I have it in reserve and I don't get caught out with that UV resin. Laundry question mark? You can hear Kara moving around next door. Or at least I really hope it's Kara and not a really big raccoon. Wait, what am I saying? We do have a really big raccoon. Her name is Jade. She lives in the other room. Okay. This is definitely going to bubble up, but there's not much I 
can do about that. Stick it down as best I can. Stick it under the light as fast as I can, and then deal with the consequences. Ooh, cookies for baby. Excellent. Always include a mistake because no one is perfect. I actually do do that with my crochet. Uh, and actually also my cross stitch. I do consciously put a wrong stitch into my cross stitch. Uh, and that's not, that's not me covering. That's, I actually do. Cause yeah, I, I, I kind of like the idea that nobody's perfect. But what's up? We definitely have to go for a walk after cause we need to get AAA batteries because the alarm is beeping. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. It will drive us all insane overnight otherwise. Uh-huh. Yeah, so our fire alarms went... Oh no, Rebecca... Uh, sorry, no. I mean, yes, Rebecca. Uh, but Jade calls herself a trash panda. That is not me calling her a trash panda. That is me repeating what she has called herself. Because she is. <laughs> Um, yeah, so our fire alarms, when they get low on battery, they start chirping at us until we change the battery, um, which one of them in the hallway has begun to do. So Kara has informed me that we must go on a walk after stream so that we can get batteries so that we can get the fire alarm to shut up, which is fair and valid. It will drive us all insane really bubbled up there, but that's okay. It'll stick itself down. Or rather, once I put the final layer of resin over it, it won't matter. Oh, Yalk is it 10 out of 20 squares for the day, so no shrimping. I am stretching. Everybody else also stretch. Thank you, Yelk. That is indeed a thing that we should all be doing. Mm. Now, I would fill one of these. Well, I will fill one of these. I don't know that I'm going to be able to fill more than one because I don't have a lot of mineral oil left in my bottle. And I would have to get up to go into the bathroom to refill it. So we'll see. I might just start putting the tops on the rest of these. But I do kind of want to show you the filling process. Ah, more Sasha. That must be a tail hair. That was really long. Um, that one actually didn't bubble too badly. Yay. Just put another layer on to be safe. Just, you know, make sure it's sealed. And also it makes it easier later when I'm putting the, the like top layer of resin on it. If it's already got nice edges. How many charms contain Sasha bits? Uh, probably most of them. The trick is just making sure that it's not visible or not excessively visible. Maybe one of these days I'll do, I'll deliberately do a resin pour where, cause I've got a couple, do I have one in reach? Uh, yeah. So I've done a couple because I have a hexagon mold and hexagon spestagons. Um, I did a couple here where I was experimenting in this fabric in the back, 
And then the resin itself, I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but the resin itself, I, I left it clear and I put thread scraps in it because I keep all my thread scraps. Um, oh, bird. So, um, so I'm kind of considering maybe I'll be super gross and do one that just deliberately has just a bunch of Sasha's fur in it just to see what it looks like and how it comes out. Just, you know, for my own amusement. Okay, so do we want to fill Luffy on or do we want to fill Jolteon? Um, which one of these is more stuck? Jolte Jolteon's a bit more well sealed, so we'll go with that one. So, bottom is down here. So the way that I fill these is I have my handy dandy needles. So I'm just gonna puncture the top and then widen the hole enough that the bottle can go in. Uh, mineral oil. Hopefully no leaks. Fingers crossed no leaks. So far so good. Fill it up as much as I can. on there. And then throw it under the light. That should seal it. Jolteon first talk about a shocker. <laughs> I know, right? Okay. So yeah, that's the that's the process. Um, and then I put a last layer of resin over the over all of the top, and for that I use the two part poured resin because it self levels, um, and just turns out a little bit nicer. Uh, and then I put the uh, put the findings on them, and then they're done. That one's sealed. I just need to fill it after I put more oil in my uh, needle bottle. Okay. Let's get the tops on the rest of these. Good night, Yelk. Give Miller a uh, a good scritchy scritch for the good boy. And enjoy your documentaries. So luckily this bit doesn't have to be terribly exact. It just needs to hit somewhere within the edge. Uh, so I have a total of three stars. I usually try to overlap somewhat just so that I'm maximizing. Oh, 
Yeah, I can hear the, uh, I can hear the fire alarm cheeping. That wheel drive is insane tonight. three stars, and then I have two hearts and a moon. How is your art cup going, Merlin? If you're still hanging out. Okay, two hearts and then one moon. Here I'm Brian. Working on a few things? Good. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, so, yep, that one's good and sealed. I'll be able to fill that one. And this one is full. No leaks, I think we're good. I think putting the second layer on is, is what gives me the difference. So yeah, uh, let me just, so that's Jolteon done. Well, okay, except for the last, uh, top layer of resin. But yeah, that is Jolteon. Excellent. So I'll move that over there. Maybe tomorrow, well, no, tomorrow I'm streaming Pokemon. Maybe on Thursday before D and D, I will uh, do a resin pour. To uh, to finish up some of these. Uh, there's my scissors. Yes, I know, Kara. I'm sorry. I can hear it in here too. As soon as I'm done stream, we'll go over to Loblaws and get batteries. Didn't we just buy batteries? Or does it need the size that we don't have? Because I feel like we just picked up double A's, didn't we? Like, fairly recently? I could be misremembering. I'm scissoring mostly out of camera. Apologies. Nope, ours are just little domestic, stuck on the ceiling with sticky tack kind of things. It takes like three, but yeah, it only takes triple A's.
beeping. Everything is fine. Don't cats just always hear random beeping? kind of curly. It's fine. Google how to flatten acetate. Answer, you don't. Press to digit. I mean, I think you could. You would just have to recast press digitation once a minute for each beep. Which you could do. It's a cantrip. Also, Kara and I have started, well, maybe I should go over this on the Pokemon stream tomorrow, but Kara and I have started our couples challenge in X and Y, because Kara never actually finished, the Kara never actually beat X and Y, and it's one of my favorite set of games, so I'm always happy to replay it. Uh, we have finished Gym Leader 1 and are about to go into Gym Leader 2. Kara won our first battle and stole my Litleo from me. The cheap, a cheaping smoke detector mimic? Oh my god. Seems like that would give itself away, though. I feel like that would be not a very smart mimic. My cutting is mostly off screen. Riveting hashtag content. Ah, that's fine. Okay, there we go. That's all the pieces cut out. Cute things! Hey, Kuma! Whoop, sorry, that was the microphone. Uh, there are, yeah, there are things on stream. There sure are things. Um, these guys will hopefully be up on my Etsy shop soon-ish, once I actually manage to take some decent product photos of them. Uh, and then these guys are my Desert Bus Charms. Uh, so yeah, a little sneak preview of things to come this fall. They're coming along real nicely. I'm really, really happy with how they're turning out. Uh, now I get to sit here and scrub the marker out. I should put the lid back on my UV resin. As I was saying, there we go. Now I just get to sit here and scrub the marker off the edges of the uh, acetate. This is fine. Yeah. 
you'd have one game progressed. Ah ha ha! Well, Randus has uh, Randus has called it. Okay, that'll probably be stream, but let's see. Uh, I was actually playing them right before stream, so there may not be a whole lot. Uh, but let's see. Good OBS. Sometimes it doesn't. There we go. Alright, let's see. What have we got? Well, I'm I'm at nine plus, so. Mm -hmm. The Kitsune Hanafuda game. Oh, why do I not have any cherry blossoms? Or wisteria. This hand does not like me. Take that. Next. Oh, 28 tables. Dang. <laughs> ah, yes. The not uno. Play a card or draw a card. Um, well, let's discard. Next. Ah, yes. My 1v1 with Kitsune in hand and foot. Um, you know what? I need to get to my foot. So let's just play those. I need wild melds anyway. Or mixed melds. There we go. Next. It's a lot of pending actions. I, yeah. I'm also in multiple games that's like just me and Kite or just me and Kitsune. So I presume they were probably playing earlier as well. Uh, me triangle. Ooh. Is this one of the games? No, this is the game where I need to hit all the ones in the middle. I don't necessarily need to hit all of the sectors. So let's go there. Ooh, a wild! Yay! There. Objective one complete. Next. Alhambra, in which I have no monies. Uh, oh god, and there's three open ones right now? Goodness. Yeah, I guess I'll take that. Confirm. Next. Railways. Is this the one that it's just me and Kitsune? Yeah. This is the one where Kitsune are apparently 1v1ing in railroads. Uh, and I still won't win, but that's okay. I enjoy building the railroads. There we go. Uh, okay, I think my card is anything out of Chicago is what I get a bonus on. Yes. Two points for each link that your railroad railroad owns from Chicago to any other city. So I actually really want the Chicago hotel. Gimme. And then I will just build everything around Chicago. And hopefully I will get some amount of points. Um, Takedo. I only have three coins. I'm gonna skip up to there. Okay, three points is fine. 
Um, oh yeah, this is the one where it's just me, Kitsune 2. I've never played two-person King Domino before. So this will be interesting. Uh, yes. And yes. Okay, next. Ah, Hubris, the game. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not doing well in this one. Because I hubrised on my first two turns. Hubris will continue. Uh, I'm gonna stop there. Okay, next. Oh yeah, Codex Naturalis. What is my objective? Uh, with those common objectives, I'm gonna go with that one. Confirm. Um, Greens and purples, neither of which I have. That's fine. Oh, actually, that one gets me a point right off the bat. Confirm. And then. Ooh, purple. Gimme. Okay, next. Ooh, sushi. Edamame. One point per opponent with any edamame for each of your played edamame. Edamame are worth zero if only one player plays them in a round. Okay. Sure. I'll take that. Okay. Brand new Carcassonne. Shiny Carcassonne. Let's go there. Next. What have I got? You and at sign. There's no bicycles. Uh, sure. Aha, bicycle. Okay, next. Zool. Uh, well, that's convenient. I'll take three of those. Put them there. Next. Verbs. Verbs. Uh, nothing useful at all. Let's just toss that verb there. Please. Okay, hopefully that'll be more useful next round. Ah, uh, of Burgundy. Three and three. Huh? Well, sell that right off the bat. And then. Yeah, we will take a sh. Next. 
Also, yes, this is going to be stream. I will finish up my boards and then call it a night. Oh, God. I don't like having a wild card this early. Uh, although in this case, it gets me down into the corner. And out of it again. There we go. Next. Mm, okay, this is good. Next. Probably should have fed the jack in there, but that's okay. Uh, hmm. I do want more purples. Next. Oh, a letter tycoon is interesting. Uh, fells. Yes, that's a word. Next. The other word game. No, go up there. Uh, yeah, let's flush the offer row. Ooh, yeah, I'll take an M. All right. Um, Diane. It's totally a real word, right? Yeah, I'll figure out what my word is later. Next. Ooh, hopefully Kitsune also thinks this one is a challenge. Yes. Aw, boo. Okay, what's our next prompt? God, these cards are pretty ridiculous. Okay. Which of these feel ridiculous? This one's just adorable. Eh, it's pretty ridiculous. Oh, I hadn't seen that card before. I like that one. I want some of these as just like art prints or posters. Okay, invisible pillow fight feels ridiculous. Let's go with those two. Next. Buttons. Uh, yes, I will take that button. Next. Okay, mm which one is this? This is adjacent to water, adjacent to a location or castle, and horizontal lines. Ooh. Well then. Um, I don't have anywhere that's both. Well, okay, here. Yeah, we'll go here. Adjacent to a location tile and adjacent to water. Here. Next. We're almost there. The other kingdom builder. Which one is this? Oh yeah, this is the one with the hermits and the lords. Uh, which is annoying. Okay. Not that it really matters because I've not been able to build anywhere except right around here. Uh, skip location tile. Confirm. Next. Other railways game. This is the one where I need to build 
up to Billings. Yes. From Tacoma to Billings, I believe. Let's see. I think I definitely, oh, well, we're in the bidding phase. I should check that first. Next. Okay. None of these are particularly helpful. Uh, let's go with 12 and 5. I would be very lucky if I roll another 12. Oh yes, the never-ending seasons game. The seasons game that hates us. Okay, next. I don't know how I'm winning that seasons game. Pure luck, I think. Uh, yeah, you know what? Play that meld. Play the four. Discard the three. Next. Ah, yes, my Merlin Hanafuda game. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. The deer. Okay, next. And let's see. This is the one that's hermits, miners, and knights. Okay. Not that any of that's helpful at the moment. Okay. Skip location tile. Confirm. And I believe, yep, that is it. And that will do it for stream. It is now after 8.30. Um, thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for coming along with me and actually getting me to work on my, uh, my charms. Now that I know that this camera setup works pretty well, I might do some more of these in the future. I don't know. Uh, but next week, apparently, I will be cross-stitching. Um, as per Kara's instructions. Before that, I will be back tomorrow to play Pokemon, as always. Um, but yeah, thank you to everyone who came to hang out. Thank you to my followers and subscribers. Support is very, very greatly appreciated. Um, thank you to, yeah, thank you to you guys for coming to hang out with me. Um, okay. Merlin, you're not live yet, eh? Uh, I am going to metaphorically raid Merlin because she is going to be starting up an art stream, hopefully fairly soon. You are live? Okay, cool. I'm just going to raid you then. Oh yeah, she is live. So, uh, Kara and I are going to have to go get batteries. Um, but we will be back, so let's go hang out with Merlin. She's going to be doing some arty stuff. Everybody have themselves a real good night, and uh, I will see y'all in the future. <laughs>